I wonder, you know, like in, in this journey or what, you know, everybody's journey and the social media and the books and where, you know, how we're flowing is, I almost see it as a journey of, of, of learning to be non-judgmental again. Like, I feel like everything has been like, so not, and not being, you know, having your opinions and being judgmental, but at the same time, hearing things. So like a four hour conversation with people who might disagree with you and have different opinions is, you know, stepping back and hearing these opinions and digesting them, like almost like you were saying, reading the paragraphs versus just like, no, I don't like that. Yes, I like it. No, I don't like that. Like, hear it, see it, feel it. Where are people with that? One of, you know, one of the um, people in the healthcare system that I follow a ton was like, he had a great post the other day that was saying, you know, I used to make, you know, be very judgmental of people's exercising and what people were doing with movements. He's like, but now we know there's this huge inactivity crisis and nobody's moving. So thankfully these people are doing these exercises. They might not be the best, but at least they're doing it compared to 80% of the Americans that aren't. So, you know, instead of putting these people down who are trying to make a difference, let's, let's make everybody rise to the top and not judge people so much and, and not be so polarized by the opinions, I guess, more so than let's hear each other and make a shift together as a, as a culture versus you're right. I'm wrong. This is what it is. That's what it is. Um, I think a lot of this this has to do with what it means to be judgmental. Uh, We have too many people in the culture have a tendency to judge emotionally and to judge on the moment and the instant and from a soundbite. Mm. I'm all for judging. We should judge everything. Yeah. But judging means, I think, to be thoughtful, considerate, take yes. into account all the evidence, yeah. all the facts, and then make an evaluation. Judge yeah. To judge is not to instantaneously Oh, I, I, I have a negative emotion about this. It must be bad. Your right. emotions are often wrong. All of our emotions are often wrong. Yeah. So, so emotions are not tools of cognition. They're not mechanisms that we should judge. So we should judge, but we should judge rationally. And mm-hmm. it, indeed, we should everything we do should be rational. And what we see is we, we're, we live in a culture which is dominated by emotion, yeah. dominated by gut, by whim, yeah. Uh, by doing whatever I feel like doing and whatever I feel like, you know, uh, and judging based on, on emotion. I, I'd like us to move to a judgmental culture, but where the judgment, the source of that judgment is thought. Yes. And that can be fast. You can't judge people fast that way. You have to listen to them. You can't judge an argument without understanding the argument, uh, listening to the argument. So I might say that is a horrible, evil argument, but I better know what the argument is before I say that. Right. Right. In that sense, we need to slow down. Yeah. And and there's nothing wrong with saying something's evil. If you've thought about it, put it when when one of my friends asked how I got you on the podcast, I said, I just emailed and asked him. And then jokingly, I put dot, dot, dot. And I said, uh, and I told him I'm sick and tired of communist. (laughs) So it's just like, (laughs) I I mean, I'm, I'm very open to, to being on people's podcasts because You know, you have a different audience than I do. You have a different audience than a lot of the other podcasts I do. Right. It's a great way to to just engage with new people and to be exposed to new people. I agree. And um, and so, uh, believe me, there are a lot of people who hate communism that I would not go on their podcast with them. So, right, uh, right, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.